I'm Daniel Kagan. I'm a member of the Colorado House of Representatives. Uh, but more importantly, for present purposes, I'm a member of the Poverty Reduction Task Force of the Colorado Legislature. And during the summer, our task force has been learning a tremendous amount about poverty in Colorado. Attitudes to poverty, causes of it, and we spent a lot of time thinking what we can do as a, as a government to try and alleviate it. But we've learned a lot about what are common beliefs about poverty here in Colorado. And one of those common beliefs about poverty is that it doesn't exist. People have told us, you can't be poor in Colorado. The safety net is too well constructed for people to be poor here in this abundant state. But they are wrong. Because we've also learned that there is a lot of poverty in Colorado. Hundreds of thousands of women and girls, and some men as well, but the, the problems are particularly acute for women. Hundreds of thousands live in poverty every day. They go through life not feeling sure that next week, or the week after, they will really be able to continue to have enough food, sustaining, nourishing food. They go through life wondering whether they're going to be able to uh, get the transportation that they need to get their job, to keep their job. They go through life wondering whether or not they're going to be able to pay a doctor's bill if a doctor's bill comes up. They don't know if they're going to be able to pay their heating bill or their cooling bill. They don't know from one day to the next whether they'll be able to provide their basic needs. And this is endemic throughout the state. From Denver to Durango, from the rural countryside to the cities of Colorado, there are people today, here and now, living in a state of poverty in this rich, wealthy state. So it does exist. And you listening to this tape may know that what I'm saying is true, that it does exist, because you may be experiencing it yourself. Or you may know somebody who is experiencing poverty herself. And if you do, please record that story. Make a videotape. Make an audio tape. Write it down. Send it to the Women's Foundation so that we can show that it is a myth that we have come beyond poverty in Colorado. We haven't. And let me talk about another myth that we learned about on the Poverty Reduction Task Force. There is a myth that if someone is poor, they deserve to be poor. They're lazy. They're incompetent. They are poor by choice. That is a myth that is commonly held. And it is completely untrue. You who watch this tape may well know how untrue it is. It is untrue because, as we heard and as you may know, there are hundreds of thousands of people who work not one job, not eight hours a day, but two, 12, 13 hours a day. And they bring home so little pay at the end of that 13 hours a day working from morning till night with hardly a break, that despite that, they still cannot assure for themselves or those that depend on them a decent, just life with the basics. Now that is completely wrong in a rich country like this, that somebody can work morning till night and still not be assured that they have a decent place to sleep, a decent school for their children to go to, a decent f meal on the table guaranteed here in America, here in Colorado for hardworking people, but it's true. And we heard that it's true. So if you know that that is true, and you know that there are people out there who believe this myth, that everybody who is poor deserves what they get, then let's help dispel it. Tell that story. It may be your story. It may be the story of somebody you care about, somebody you know, somebody you love.
put it down on tape, on paper, somehow, get it to the Women's Foundation and help the Women's Foundation dispel the myths about poverty, that it doesn't exist or that where it does exist, it is deserved. Both are wrong. Both are untrue. Both these myths must be dispelled. And to dispel them, we need you to help by telling your story or telling the story of someone you love and know and care about and respect and getting the word out. So please help us. Thank you.